We are at Central and Melrose. We are waiting for two Chicago police commanders to give us a briefing to tell us what they have learned so far and what they know uh, and where things stand in the investigation. The survivor of the shooting is a 25 year old woman who was shot in the head. This happened at about 2.30 this morning. Police say the four victims were standing on the street with a group of people at School Street and Central Avenue. A man approached the group, fired several shots and left in a dark colored SUV. The victims uh, killed a 50 year old man, a 26 year old man and a 24 year old woman. Chicago police are now uh, giving us that briefing. Let's go to that now. I am uh, Commander Joseph Brennan of the 24th District. I was the acting street deputy last night. Uh, with me is uh, Commander Heather Daniel of the 16th District and Captain Mike Bars of the 16th District as well. So we're gonna give you an update on what occurred last evening here in the 16th District. First and foremost, our thoughts and prayers go out to the families of uh, everybody involved that lost loved ones and the people that are still fighting for their lives. So at approximately 2.30 a.m., there was an incident that occurred inside a bar here. Uh, the incident spilled out into the street. During that time, two females and two males were shot when this altercation occurred. Three of the victims have succumbed to their injuries. The fourth is in critical condition at a local area hospital. Area 5 detectives are interviewing potential witnesses as well as pulling video from the immediate area to put together the pieces of what actually occurred here last night. The subject, at this point, all we know is the subject fled the vehicle in a vehicle, a uh, dark uh, SUV from the scene here. Anybody with information from this incident, please contact cpdtip.com. And at that point, I'll take some questions. You say this started with some kind of incident in the bar was fighting inside and they walked out and Car came through or? From what we know, there was an incident inside the bar here, um, some type of physical altercation. That altercation spilled out into the street, and at some point, shots were fired and four people were struck, three of which is deceased, and the other one is critical. Are any of the victims known to police or possible gang violence, anything like that? We have no information at that time, at this time. Were they patrons of the bar, like, you know, staff at the bar, a mix of the two? We don't have any of that information. Again, we're about six hours into this investigation. It's still pretty fluid, and the detectives are conducting all their interviews. Is it possible that some of the, uh, we've heard the victims could be members of a family? Uh, we don't have that, all that information just yet. It is possible, but uh, that's still being investigated. This bar or this bar, can you tell us? We're in the area where the bar occurred. It's here, it's right here. Uh, again, that's part of the follow-up for the detective division. I know they conducted a canvas last night, and they'll probably be out again doing a canvas in the media area as well, on the side streets as well. So. Shot casings recovered? Yeah, there were multiple shots fired. There are uh, ballistic evidence that was recovered from the scene. All right, recapping what the commander was saying there, uh, 2.30 this morning inside of a bar, 5500 block of West School, that is in Portage Park. Two females, two males, uh, the argument inside spilled out outside, four people shot, three of them have passed away. Uh, a fourth woman is in critical condition. Uh, the suspect in this case uh, fled in a dark SUV from the scene. Uh, if you have any information, you can contact CPD anonymously at cpdtip.com. And of course, We'll continue to follow that story.